What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be doing the weekly recap of the STAM modeling program. The market had another pretty good week as uh, a lot of stocks continued to break out. It was more so the growth stocks than anything else this week as a lot of those stocks reported earnings. A couple notable run-ups were DraftKings, Coinbase, and Square. There were a couple other nice runners this week, but the main takeaway is that uh, growth stocks more than anything else popped up where what's different from last week is that we saw a lot of the blue chips like um, Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon pop up. So uh, either way, it was another pretty good week. So let's get right into the recap. So for the swings, there was only one new play this week, and that was a five or short put. There was an optional long call that went along with this alert. Um, Fiverr is at a pretty good level right now. The implied volatility is high, which is advantageous to those who follow the short put route. Um, but either way, for those of you who even got the long call, Fiverr is extremely oversold. In my opinion, they are a solid company and they have a lot of growth potential for the long term. But this is more of like a short to medium term trade anyways. Um, so looking more at the technicals, it is extremely oversold. Um, we are seeing nice volume come in and uh, there's just mo like positive momentum across many stocks right now, especially the growth stocks like Fiverr. So um, we'll see how this one plays out. The setup is looking pretty good though. Uh, Tom has done very well with his pen play recently. Um, it didn't move too much off of earnings, but either way, um, it is looking pretty good overall. Um, we do have a couple other plays in the works, but as those get updated, we will um, you know, obviously talk about them once we close them out. Uh, getting into the bot plays for this week. Honestly, it was a dud week. Out of the four plays, most of them were duds with the exception of the Alibaba plays. Um, the SLV play, I wouldn't call it a dud. It just didn't really move. Whereas these other like Amazon and Microsoft plays later in the week, I would definitely classify those as dud plays. Um, looking at these stocks, like let's say we look at Amazon specifically, um, it has been very, very overbought um, in the short term, but there's just been like an overwhelming flood of buyers in the market lately, which even though Amazon's overbought, it kind of, it didn't really fall off. Like, yeah, it pulled back a little bit, but we didn't see like a, a sell-off that we normally would see in these setups just because there's so much you know, money flowing into the market right now. So nonetheless, um, I would say a decent amount of the plays this week were duds. Um, that's just a part of the, the game is how it works. Um, the bot has done very, very, very well over the past couple months, but like all software and all strategies out there, sometimes you have a losing week. I would definitely consider this week a losing week, um, but on the positive side of things, Alibaba did pop up quite a bit on Tuesday, which was awesome to see. The bot did an absolutely amazing job catching that trade. So that was awesome. Um, and then let's get right into the theta plays from this week. Shorting put options continues to be an amazing strategy to deploy, as even though we have a lot of stocks, especially growth stocks, starting to rebound back up, they are still at relatively low levels, and the options premiums are pretty decent. So definitely check out that short put strategy in the premium selling channel. It is uh, definitely my favorite strategy out in the market. Besides that, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below, and have a great weekend.